Today is July 3rd, 2022. It is a Sunday. It is also day 146, I think, of Blender. Hold on. Yeah, 146. And today I'm back in day 120, which is like the lipstick model that I made. And I'm basically going to make a 360 animation out of it. So at this point, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to parent everything. Um, or actually, maybe I don't have to parent everything. I think I'm just going to go um, over here to this little restriction toggles things and turn on this one the selectable one and so i'll go here to the backdrop and then unselect that so if i select everything the backdrop won't be selected and i'll do the same thing for the camera so i'll unselect that so if i select everything the camera won't be selected and i think i'll leave that um where it is i don't know if i want the lighting to move um i think i'm gonna keep it there all right, so at this point, I'm going to do Shift A, and I'm going to go here to Empty and add a uh, UV, or okay, a sphere. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll scale. So I'll press S to scale. By the way, that reminds me. Let me turn on my shortcuts. Okay. So I grab the empty, and I'm just going to put it like G to grab it, Z to grab it down, and then maybe scale it a little bit more by pressing S. And then doing G, grab it X on the X axis, and I think I'll keep it that way. And then at this point, I'm going to press A so that everything else is selected. And I'm just going to press um, Control P so that um, I can parent all of the objects to the empty. So I'm going to click Object, Keep Transform. And then at this point, if I just grab the empty by itself and I do G, it should um, move everything, basically. Um, and then at this point, I'm just going to add a rotation animation. So I'll go here to my end panel, go to item, and then keyframe one, I want it to start at the position that it's in currently right now. So I'll insert that, I'll hover over the location, well actually hover over the rotation, and I'll insert that keyframe by pressing I, so you'll see the keyframe pop up on the timeline over here. And then let's say I want it to end at maybe... Let's say I want it to end at 100, keyframe 100, so at 100, I want it to end up being like negative 360 um, in rotation so that it goes um, clockwise. So I'll have to go to 100, right, where I put that negative, wait, not negative 360, yeah, negative 360 on the Z because I want it to rotate along the blue axis, which is the Z one, it's the up and down. And I'm going to go and hover over that rotation that I gave it and press I to insert that keyframe. And now if I go back to keyframe one and I just play it, you'll see it, um, it rotate basically um, until 100. And that's the plan. And then I'm just gonna press on T and I'm gonna make sure, we're, like I'm gonna go on the timeline, hover over anything on the timeline and just press on T and then make it linear, the interpolation. So that, is that how you pronounce it? Interpolation, yeah. Um, so that it goes continuous and it doesn't like stop at the end. Um, and then just see it one more time. Beautiful. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to do Control S. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go here to Material Preview. And what I'll do is um, I'm going to go to, and again, I'm going to go to the Outliner, go to Output Properties. And I'm going to go down here to the folder in the output. I'm going to just make a new animation. I'm going to call it, what's today's date? 7-3-22. I'm going to call it lipstick rotation. Or maybe not lipstick rotation, but something smaller like lipstick 360. So I'll do lipstick 360, and that's the folder that those frames are going to be outputted into. They're going to be outputted as PNG images, and that's all I have to do at this point. Um, and then I'm just going to hit render, and render animation and then I can go over here into my folder and um, I can go to the desktop and I can go to blender and I can go to animations and the folder that I had it which was lipstick 360 and in a few seconds you'll see the first frame pop up um, I think that it's gonna tell me okay sample 29 out of 128 so it's basically doing like 128 samples of the same frame and so it's going to take a little while. Um, I wonder if I go to edit preferences and I tell it what GPU to use. Let me see. So if I go to system, AMD, Radeon, which one should I use? Is it this one or this one? What's the difference between all of these? I don't even know. 
Wait, let me go to here, CPU, GPU, Compute. What is, okay, let me do some research while this thing does that. Um, what is GPU Compute? Compute, oh, does it stand for computer? <sighs> In Blender. GPU rendering makes it possible to use your graphics card for rendering instead of the CPU. This can speed up rendering because modern GPUs are designed to do quite a lot of number crunching. Faster for the general, the GPUs were rendering. So, if you have a GPU to use language, add a process and system to enable objects for most video graphics and open CL for most AMD cards. But I have hip not. Um, oh, would you look at that? The first frame is done. Um, what am I doing again? How do you view it by. Large icons. There we go. So I guess it's going faster because I use the GPU, or does it not? Let me go here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I changed. Oh my god. This is such a blessing. So this really is a blessing. I changed it to a GPU compute, right? Because I was using CPU. Now I changed it to GPU. And because I have a new laptop with um, an AMD uh, graphics card, and I think it's a 6700S, if I use that, now you can see, like, before it said one hour remaining, and now it literally says, like, six seconds remaining. But I think that's for each frame. But I think that is amazing. Thank you, Lord. So this is definitely so great in comparison. It's literally going almost the same speed as, like, the text animations, which are super easy to render, um, which is amazing, I think, because this used to take a whole two days like literally like two days like the perfume bottle that i did the other day where is it um let me see the, this 360 rotation of the perfume bottle literally took two days two whole days i think i'm gonna do it again and see um how long it takes to render um on this laptop with this gpu because this is crazy how fast this is going in comparison to my old laptop it's amazing all right so i'm gonna um i'm gonna unpause and then i'm gonna come back when all the frames are rendered so i have encountered a small problem so in blender it says invalid value in hap keek and keek integrated intersect shadow so um i looked it up and apparently it has something to do with drivers and i completely forgot about this because i did read about this before i bought this laptop i forgot about it so um, I think I have to install Windows AMD driver. Um, hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to download the latest AMD drivers here. So I'm gonna download these. And I'll just pull that up here. Say yes. Install. Did I just... Um, I have a 6700 graphics, 67. Six series. And it says 6000 series. 6700. Just this one. I have Windows 11, right? Oh, it does it for me. That's great. So, can we do that? Yes, do everything. I doubt that I have to restart this computer. But anyway... I got up to 